As we walk through the book, eventually we are going to be closer to the other end. So most of the pages will be lying here on top of the wedge and they will try to, to fall. So what we do in order to avoid that, avoid the book closing abruptly, what we do is that we move the wedge a little bit behind like this. Um, and that will avoid uh, the fact that the pages will fall. And at the same time, we are going to uh, give more support to the spine. By here, I did it by cutting some of the felt and rolling it like this uh, in a conic shape. And we put that below the felt so that this gives support. Here I have another one, gives support to the spine. Um, and besides giving support to the spine, it will help you to flatten the page that you are actually digitizing, the one below. So I will walk a little bit fast through the book to show you this. Uh, here the book serpent is going to help, but of course the fact that we have a uh, that we have moved the the wedge of the cradle uh, helps uh, much more. Of course, here we also have to uh, take more uh, cardboards from the from the color patch to have the same level of the page. So these uh, these supports uh, that we put here allow for the page that is on the bottom to be. To be flat, to lie flat, and also uh, the fact that we move this uh, backwards, as I said before, allows for these pages not to fall as easily. Um, if we were to have the the cradle in the configuration it was before, these pages will have already fallen. Um, so the same thing works here. We we use the app to take the the picture. We, we first uh, see that everything is okay, we focus, and then we shoot. 